The people of Zimbabwe are still in a jubilant mood following the resignation of the longest serving president, Robert Mugabe, adding they now have their freedom. But the question remains, how do Zimbabweans make this freedom a blessing rather than a curse? What are your suggestions? <laughs> the government should be up and doing with their democratic dealings, you understand? It is a different thing to be in a democratic world and it's a different thing to be in an otherwise autocratic something. I think Zimbabweans have been under torture for so long and this is their time for their freedom. So they should be a democratic state as it is. It has done a lot for them because they are the only country that has free land, like whites don't own their land. And now that Mugabe is out, they shouldn't just be free and allow people to come into their country. They should make sure that they make his legacy live on and then they look up to other countries. Since it was, he resigned actually, and they didn't really face any problems like conflict or something that is going to do them harm. I can say it's a stable democracy now. Look at other African countries and Emirates. Where if you look at Ghana, Kenya, we are, they are all practicing democracy. So the people of Zimbabwe should look to other African countries and practice the democracy the way it is going, and even in the Western world. If they do it that way, I think uh, it will not, in the future, it will not hamper them like they are suffering under uh, Mugabe and now they are free. Um, for now, I would say they should just relax and then look at um, the various aspirants that will be, islands will be having their elections um, next year. And so they should look at, cogitate and look at um, the aspirants of the other political parties and then um, I think in a way to inform their decision to vote for someone who is very competent to manage the country very well. Interesting pieces of advice for Zimbabwe there, but let's check out more of the advice coming from you on, on our Facebook. On Facebook, Baya Jerma says they should immediately work with the opposition and other stakeholders to quickly put the electoral systems that will be accepted by all. For now, both the ZANU-PF and NDC are now one in this current state. Otherwise, Zimbabwe and with Mugabe will be better off than Zimbabwe without Mugabe. They shouldn't jubilate yet. I wish them well in this transition period. Uh, I says, uh, SMH in Africa, when we elect our leaders, we dance. When they mess up, we dance. When we take them out of office, we dance. We are only good at dancing. The ability for us to move forward <laughs> as a continent is to think. Kwesi Bwating Aipa says, it's up to them to give the new administration the space to restructure the economy for them. The new administration can produce milk and honey with to, within two years, probably, that's what you're saying. For all parties to be free, they should give the new government time to operate. And um, Megbleto Courage says, the people of Zimbabwe should now have the patience for the country's new leader and rally behind the government. And in times that things continue to go bad, their democratic rights of voting can be used to change any bad government. Yabwa Solomon writes, the new leaders should be selfless, incorruptible, God-fearing, patriotic, and change certain laws of the country that will undermine the country's democracy. And Joshua Entry comes in to say they should make sure that their constitution is well adhered to because democracy, to me, is better than any other form of governance. And those are some interesting comments on Facebook for Zimbabwe. And finally, posting your partner's photos on social media has gradually become one of the ways a couple express their love to each other but what if your partner refuses to post your picture but does it for others hmm. you might think he or she is cheating on you or even doesn't love you anymore right so tell me how would you feel if your partner never posted any of your photos but does it for others i'll be disturbed and I'll confront him and ask him why. And maybe if he gives a tangible reason, maybe the person's birthday or so, I might accept it. But if it's so continuous, I'll start suspecting him. Yeah, so for me, behind social media, once um, she proves that she loves me behind social media and she does everything that needs to be done in the relationship, I'll be okay, yes. 
I didn't have a problem. Yeah, I didn't have a problem with that at all. Once I have that trust in her, that outside social media, she loves me. She she does everything that shows that she loves me. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Yeah. Actually, I'll feel bad. I'll feel bad because. He told me he loves me, but yes, so he doesn't show any sign. You understand? Um, the word, the word love is like you acting on it. It's like an action word, acting on it, letting the person know that you really love the person. So if you are posting other people's pictures on social media and you don't post your own girlfriend or the leading question you claim you love. In a, in a way, I'll feel bad. There are certain things that partners do for one another which uh, shows love. So if my partner is not doing this for me, and then if she's doing it for other guy, I'll get jealous. And then I'll probably think she doesn't love me. That is why she's doing it. Because if you love somebody, like you always keep the person's image in your room, on your phone, your laptop. So if you're not doing it, simple, you don't love me. That's all. And I'll feel very bad, very, very sad. Ah, uh, Asia, what if I, I don't want to post my husband's picture because I don't want anybody to come and compete with me? What's wrong with well, that? Well, that's the point. Yes. Yeah, so but you should let your husband know that that's the reason why you're doing that. He may not understand anyway. <laughs> Let's check out what you've been posting. Ebenezer says, like. no problem. I am the true owner. Rami says, press like if your partner doesn't do social media. Chrissy Boateng says she will not even dream of that. So I need not to worry my head over that because she has no justification. Prince Nuruddin says it's normal and nothing to worry about. Posting of photos aren't part of the relationship. Really? Kwabna <laughs> Debra says then he or she must be skeptical. <laughs> and uh, Courage uh, comes in to say, ha ha ha, it's her choice to do that. And I wouldn't have any problem with that. You sure? Brad Noble says, as for me, I will feel jealous, especially if they are male photos. And uh, Always Kind says, clearly he or she is a cheating partner. And Christian Atipo comes in to write, will only post it when it's official, but some like it privately. And you're saying, Nana, say, hey, this is what? Nimo. <laughs> she should be proud of me. La. And Al Hassan uh, Swali says, I will feel okay because of the trust I have for my partner. And Leonard says, this is family issues. Just mind your business, please. <laughs> Okay, and Kuku Shreemur says, I don't want anyone to post my picture on social media. No. Okay, that's good too. Andrew already says, well, I think our love database is not on social media. <laughs> and that will not be a big blow for me. And Julia Sudru writes, it's normal since she's always with me because we're not building our relationship based on Facebook posts. And it's rather takes off jealous and build trust in relationships. So I wish everyone can try. Sabiru Avan says, um, I will feel very bad because oh, why? She, he actually tags uh, probably the girlfriend or something. Okay, Mami so Mami says, so so will feel very bad. Okay, that's what he's trying to say. She'll feel very bad because why? Why? Um, I am doing it for others and there must be a reason to that. To, to do that. Mm. Very interesting comments there. And uh, God knows, says, I don't care about that because if she shares my picture, other ladies will not agree if I want some pa pa pa. <laughs> hey, really? <laughs> you want to do pa 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 movements? All right. So let's